pulled from a backyard swimming pool in the city of Erie and rushed to the hospital. It comes less than 24 hours after a boating accident on Lake Erie injured two people, including a child. Tonight, our Marissa Thomas caught up with local firefighters for more on water safety as we hit the peak boating and swimming season. Marissa. Good evening, Mike and Emily. I had an interview with the Co U.S. Coast Guard tonight, but they had to cancel because of boats in distress on the water near Fairview. And that's typical during these summer months as it gets very busy for first responders. On the water, a day of summer fun can turn scary in a matter of moments. That's just what happened on the 4th of July when around 8.30 a boat was experiencing motor troubles. A 7-year-old girl, Skirt, got caught in the motor. She was pulled in and suffered cuts on her legs and serious burns. You can find yourself in trouble in water very quickly. Even strong swimmers uh, can be taken down. So you, you have to be very careful. But Bad things happen very quickly. Several fire departments around the region are trained in water rescues, and they work hand in hand with the U.S. Coast Guard to respond to emergencies on Lake Erie waters. We are a fully staffed volunteer water rescue team. We have approximately 15 members on our roster. We operate three boats out of Presque Isle Bay, main boat being our sea legs behind us here. Um, we can launch it pretty much from anywhere on land. Lieutenant Eric Hoff with the Westlake Fire Department says paying attention and being informed are ways to help prevent a water accident. Boater safety course is the best thing to have. Uh, Pennsylvania provides a good online program, teaches you all the rules and regulations and good boat operating procedures. And Wednesday night, emergency crews were called for a drowning on East 34th Street near Zimmerman Road. A three-year-old girl was pulled from a backyard swimming pool in respiratory arrest. She was flown to a Pittsburgh hospital for treatment. Deputy Chief Fred Gillespie of the Erie Fire Department says, especially when it comes to children, be extra vigilant near any water. Make sure someone watches anyone who's in your pool. When you have children especially, it only takes a few moments for someone to slip under the water and need help. And if you're not there watching, Unfortunately, what could be prevented might not. Erie Fire Department Deputy Chief Fred Gillespie also said, make sure to follow Coast U.S. Coast Guard rules, having life jackets, and making sure your boat is expected are important to enjoy the water safely. Live from the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.